And the Indiana Supreme Court has filed a disciplinary complaint against Attorney General Curtis Hill. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Bars. And I'm Kylie Conway in for Brooke Martin today. The complaint could be the first step to removing Hill from his elected position and his ability to practice law in Indiana. News 8's Richard Essex is in the State House tonight with more on this. Good evening, Richard. Attorney General Hill is not facing a criminal charge. He is, however, facing a new charge from the Indiana Supreme Court Disciplinary Commission, which alleges that back in back last year, Hill allegedly committed battery and sexual battery against four women last year at a downtown Indianapolis tavern. There is an annual and customary party at the end of the Indiana General Assembly called Sine Die. At the end of the 2018 session, the party was held at AJ's Lounge on South Meridian Street here in Indianapolis. That night, Attorney General Hill is alleged to have put his hands on four women, one of them a state representative, in places that were unwelcome. Today, the Indiana Supreme Court Disciplinary Commission filed a complaint against Hill that states, Hill committed criminal acts that reflect adversely on his honesty, trustworthiness, fitness as a lawyer, and violation of the rules of professional conduct for attorneys of law. Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill has maintained his innocence from the very beginning. I have spent my entire life committed to justice. Governor Holcomb, who has called for Hill's resignation, stands firm today on Hill's removal. I heard uh, the news broke and, you know, I haven't changed my opinion since I originally spoke on the issue. The Supreme Court complaint is not a criminal charge. It could be, however, the first steps to stripping Hill of his law license, according to Carl Mulvaney, a private practice lawyer and former Indiana Supreme Court administrator. For typical cases after a charge has been filed, it's going to be private reprimand, public reprimand, suspension of days or months, or disbarment. Like a criminal case, Hill will have the opportunity to present his own case. What it comes down to is that if, if this goes to trial and uh, goes to hearing, um, then these witnesses will testify. Um, uh, Attorney General Hill will have the opportunity to, to, to rebut what they say. Um, they can all call you know, other witnesses that may be appropriate. Um, so it'll be up to the hearing officer to make a determination on credibility of who, who the hearing officer believes and, and whether these charges are supported. Hill's legal team issued a statement a few minutes ago that says, in part, there was an investigation undertaken by the General Assembly, another one by the Inspector General, and finally one by a special prosecutor. And having reviewed all of the information, all three reached the same conclusion, no further action was warranted. To see the full statement from, from the Attorney General's legal team, you can go to wishtv.com for, for the full statement. In the State House, Richard Essex, Wish TV, News 8.